Okay, one of the main uses for doing um, linear modeling with, with recurrence relations is for um, growth and decay of money, particularly in finance. So we're going to look at some examples like that in this video. Um, we're going to, instead of use, using U, the letter U, we're now using V for value. Okay, and these recurrence relations um, here show when the change is a common difference. So these are arithmetic, and we're going to start with arithmetic, and in a later video we'll look at some geometric versions. So in all of these financial problems, it will either be going up or be going down by a common difference. And we're going to use a capital D here, common difference. So you'll often see a capital D being used as a notation for that difference. So in the first example we're going to look at, we're going to look at a new car being bought, new car purchased for 24000 depreciating at 20% of its purchase price. So that's the original price there show this as a recurrence relation. So V0 is the initial value. So V0 here was 24,000. And you put a comma then, and then you put Vn plus one equals Vn minus, and this is where we want to find our common difference. So the common difference is 20% of the original. So if I get 24,000 and I times by 0 0.2 to find 20%, it would give me 4,800. Okay, so that's my common difference, 4,800, and that is the recurrence relation. Okay. The next question asks for a professional gardener purchases a lawnmower for $270, so that's the initial purchase price, and then loses $3.50 for each use. Model the depreciating value of the mower. So, um, if we look at the recurrence relation model of Vn plus 1 equals Vn minus D, D being the common difference, it's pretty straightforward. V0 is the initial value, 270. Vn plus 1 equals Vn minus 3.5. Okay, but we're now going to use this to determine the value after three uses. So if we get our um, V3 we're looking for, we're going to have to go three times. So 270, take away 3.5 times 3. Okay, and that gives 10.5, so you'll end up with 259.5 as the value for V3. Okay, so your final answer is $259.5, $50, $0.50. Okay. And in this last bit here, how many times can a mower be used before it goes to less than 250? So have a go at this one before I show you. So pause the video. Um, so if we get 270 and we take away 3.5 n number of times and it gives us 250, what is n for that? So you can solve this algebraically or because we're in further maths, we're okay to use solve for n and that will give us the value of n so if I type that in the calculator insert problem solve 217 minus 3.5 n comma equals 250 comma n and it comes up as 5.714 times so n equals 5.714. So go back to the question, how many times must the lemur be used before it goes less than that? So that must be used six times because you, if you used it five times, it would not be lower than that. So it must be used six times. So you have to round it up in that case. So that's a basic uh, overview of how you can use arithmetic sequences to model um, linear growth or decay. So this is for linear growth or decay. Okay, using arithmetic sequences. All right, my next video, we're going to look at nonlinear growth and decay.